A man that lives in Iran named Amu Haji claims to not have bathed in 60 years. Right now, he's about 80 years old. He's deemed the world's dirtiest man. Now, if it can be verified somehow, and, and it hasn't been yet, just to be clear, uh, he just destroyed the competition because I think the world record as it stands is uh, 38 years. The other person hasn't bathed, bathed for 38 years. It's uh, an Indian man. But here are my favorite facts about him. He eats rotten porcupine meat uh, to sustain himself, because again, he just, he kind of left society behind 100%. He just lives out in the wilderness and in a hut that some uh, people have built for him because they're concerned about him, and he lives in, in, in a hole in the ground and a hut. He likes to smoke five cigarettes at a time. Yeah, I'm sure that's healthy for you. It's amazing he made it to 80 years old. Uh, he also likes to smoke animal feces. Why? Like, what's that even about? Like, don't get me wrong. I, if there's, like, I don't know, some sort of hallucinogen that's in there, isn't, like, magic mushrooms made out of cow dung or some shit like that? I don't know for sure, so don't don't quote me on that. But there, I think there's some sort of hallucinogen that are made in that type of a way. So if there is some of that in there, then I kind of get it. But just smoking the feces itself, not even isolating the thing you want, that's just gross. He also uh, claims that showering makes him sick. Yes, yes, exactly right. In uh, Flying directly in the face of everything that every doctor and every scientist has ever said throughout history, that cleanliness prevents disease, he says, no, 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 if I do shower, that would make me sick. Sure, right, uh, we believe you. So this is interesting stuff, but the aspects that I wanted to focus on is that he says that he ran into emotional setbacks when he was in society, when he was in his teens, and again, he left in his 20, when he was 20 years old, I think. So he said he had emotional setbacks, which led him to basically say, fuck it, man, I'm out, I'm done. I'm checking out of society, I'm going to go live this totally rural, alone, solemn lifestyle with pure solitude 24-7. And I think we can all actually relate to that on one level or another. I think we all have a streak in us. I know a lot of people are also social, we're social animals by our nature, but we've all had those moments where we say, you know what, fuck this, fuck everybody, I'm locking myself in my room and watching movies in the dark until I feel like coming out. So there, on the one hand, I kind of respect this dude for doing something like that. There's something admirable about really having the courage of that conviction and saying, no, 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 I mean it. Fuck all this, I'm out. But also... Uh, the other point I wanted to make is, to people who don't believe in evolution, okay, you're telling me that this guy right here doesn't look like what the transformative, you know, human slash Neanderthal would look like in the phase when somebody was, when we were changing slowly from a Neanderthal to a primitive human and then to actual humans. He doesn't look like somebody in that phase. I mean, and that's what a human would look... This is also another important point. That's what a human looks like in the wild, right? Without all, like, you know, the modern advancements and showering and uh, medicine and all this stuff. That's what a human being looks like in the wild. Okay, you're telling us... You're telling me we aren't related? We don't have a common ancestor with apes? I mean, it's so obvious that we do. We have the same number of hair follicles on our body, right? We're, we shit like they do. I mean, it's so clear... That's what's going on here. And by the way, I don't mean this in any kind of disrespectful way to this guy. Anybody would look like that if they were out there in the wild 24-7 like he is. But I do think that this is also, yet again, another nail in the coffin of the idiots who say, the world is 6,000 years old and the humans were made in their current form. No, idiots. The world is 4.54 billion years old and humans were not made fucking 6,000 years ago. That's ridiculous.